Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? <clears throat> Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Fine, teacher. Nice. Let's. Good. good evening, everyone. Today is December the 16th. This is class 24, and the topic is fire escape plan, article discussion. Welcome to the English class. This is the general objective. The special, the specific objectives. And this is tonight's objective. Okay, in the agenda we have discussion. We have first dialogue. We have a reading, another reading and a discussion. and. Uh, we're going to discuss the evacuation route. Okay, but first let's see who's present. Let's see, today is Thursday, uh, December the 16th. Anaselmi Chévez. Present teacher. Excellent. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzmán. Dani Anthony Siguenza Ventura. Dani Sadalberto Fuentes. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Guadalupe del Carmen López. José Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Excellent. José Ignacio Franco Medina. José Norberto Velázquez López. Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Beatriz Díaz. Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Nice. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present teacher. Excellent. María M. Catalina de Rosales. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Miriam Carbel Jacobo Chiquilán. Cristina Irina Gómez. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Good evening, present. Pamela, right? Yes. Excellent. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Excellent. Janira Guadalupe Gómez. And Rudy Josue Flores. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, let's continue. Present teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Present teacher Guadalupe. Uh, hello, good evening. In the warm up, good evening. Good evening. We're going to begin with a discussion. All right, so let's begin. <clears throat> Discuss these questions with a partner. Okay, so uh, we're going to have these questions before we actually have uh, some things to review from yesterday that we didn't have time to complete. Okay, so let's go to the groups and let's begin. Tonight we are a team, so I imagine that Five be okay. Groups are beginning. Okay, so the opening we're getting okay.
Continue with uh, discuss this question with a partner, right? Yeah. They are uh, list three character uh, characteristics of a fire escape plan. Mm. Uh, maybe keep the keep a keep a call. Keep the call, sorry. Um, um, then can be a uh, well character characteristic. Uh, walk to uh, exit uh, evacuation route. Yeah, and uh, I don't know what we risk we can for me. The extinguishers extinguish, oh, yes, yeah, because we are talking about fire escape plan, yes, also the the evacuation route, route yes, is, is important, yes, that we know and that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> other other characteristic, maybe run fast. <laughs> I know. <laughs> keep the calm. They need to keep run the calm. Run away fast. <laughs> need to run fast. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> not Kobe. Or oh. maybe, maybe walk slowly. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. You will well, go carbonizado. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, well, to number two, discuss discuss how often a fire drill will be necessary. Um. Let me. See. Fatal consequence. Okay, for I I think that we need to prevent uh, when we have a recheck of uh, electric system peri periodical periodical yeah and to account uh, with a system of alarm of fire. Yeah. Or the the check uh, if the system of uh, LP the, the gas for cook. Okay. The system is very important. Alarm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
um, have a, a space to go out faster and enough space when you mm -hmm. do an evacuation, the space to the office. Uh, how uh, the number two, how often a fire drill will be necessary? Uh, excuse me, are you discussing the right questions? I don't know. <laughs> it's supposed to be paint. Paint. Uh, what page? And I don't know, you're discussing like page 14 or I don't know. Uh, what do you say? What page? Page, page 10 you're uh, discussing. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and what? Page. What's the correct page? Is the Eight. first. Ah. <laughs> Come on, you went past it. <laughs> Sorry, I I say uh, I well, think about was fire. Present teacher again. <laughs> was well, uh, number one, <laughs> why do mm -hmm. There should be no layers of spark. Okay. Um, uh, otherwise, do not connect multiple uh, appliances to the say outlet. Say outlet, como varias cosas, varias hechos. Mm -hmm. The outlet. Oh. Optimus connection. Opti oh, Optimus connection. Um, yes. Okay. It's, it's good. Your opinion. Uh, okay. Uh, what represents a fire hazard? Hazard. Um, the electrical connection, it can be one of them. Yeah. The, or even the. Uh, uh, Maybe a little fire. Yeah, uh, I remember uh, when we used the, the electrical command uh, mm -hmm. as a, a prevention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That indicated is a possible fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, Karina, what do you think? Or Emma? Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, uh... And how you ever uh, witness it? A fire? Witness, witness is a uh, You have to be present when it happened. That you saw. You saw. That you saw. Uh, how do you ever? Did you ever seen a fire? Um, my case in a world. Uh, in gasoline station, uh, one cars. Um, Hot fire. Yeah. Hot fire. Yes. Uh, it's very uh, alarm. In my case, is. Um, the witnesses in the the companies or recycling material recycling 
recycling material uh -huh. in uh, one bees in San Salvador. Is uh, the fire is prolonged for for a long time is lost total material uh, diner or no no loss in human person is no more okay. the number seven what was the most worrying 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 in about about it it's about it Uh, other houses very close, right? And that fire could go from one house to another house. Yes. One building yes. to another building. And not only on one side, but to the other side and spread uh, through the block. Yes, I did the yeah, in my home is most wor worrying for my daughter, my by our, our family, include in my pet. In your house, yes. Yeah. At, at work, you worry that is the other buildings are near and that people can die if they get caught inside and they don't have time to come to be evacuated. But at home, yes, your family and yeah. the, the neighbors. Yes, teacher. Yeah, that's right. Finish. Yeah, finish. Excellent. Let's go to the big group. Okay. Okay. The class. Okay, excellent. Now everybody's back. Let's continue. Sorry that I was, I am a little uh, wound up. Means a little acceler accelerated, <laughs> a little wound up. I just came from the hospital. Um, I was sitting in traffic for about two hours to get home and I arrived <laughs> running. So probably that was, that was a little wound up so i apologize if i if i was a little in a hurry at the beginning okay so sorry okay let's continue my dear nietos uh, maybe you remember that this was one of the exercises that we were doing uh, at the end of the class last night but we didn't uh, we didn't stop to actually give it the importance that it deserves because of the time, but so I decided to bring it to bring it uh, today because with the reading that we're going to do tonight, with that we finish the manual. So 
Uh, with that one, we're going to put it away. And tomorrow we're going to be working on review and we're going to be working on other elements which need to be paid close attention to, okay? So let's, let's begin with the first one, okay? Do you remember what contamination represented? The last phrases, yeah. waste res residue. Waste residue waste that are handled residues. improperly scatter scatter to other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. Okay, so uh, let us pay attention to the way it has been handled. Waste residues. Teacher, what are waste residues? Like um, toxics that are used for preparing, uh, let's say, fabrics, okay? Or maybe some oil that was used uh, in or something. There are some things that are solid. There are some things that are liquid. And these are waste residues. Okay, so we say waste residues that are handled means that we don't take, care, take good care of them. They scatter, okay? Scatter to other areas means that they move place to another, probably because they are liquid and cause the areas to be closed down, meaning that because they are contaminated, uh, access to those areas is closed, okay? So that is, uh, the idea for number one. Okay, and I wanted to clarify some of the things. So okay, that is number one, right? Number one. Teacher, what is scatter? Spread. Scatter is a spread. We say waste residues are like in Spanish, residuos, and waste is garbage. Okay, the problem is, Yes. Okay, so handled means that treated. So waste residues that are treated improperly. Okay, scatter means that they move to other areas, contaminating other areas. And because these areas are contaminated, we need to close them. So that will be in the first. Okay. Casualties, people who have died, that would be what? Employee dies in an accident operating a machine. Uh -huh. Okay. In, uh, an employee dies in an accident operating a machine. How? Uh, maybe the machine has too much cargo and then uh, it's overturned, it's overturned and the person falls out of the machine because remember those cargo machines don't have doors. So the people may slip out of the passenger's seat or, or the driver's seat and they fall under the machine and then they die. So this would be a casualty. Or people who are intoxicated because of the fumes or because of the waste residues that are in, uh, improperly handled, okay? So that would be casualties, people who die at work, okay? Who have a fatal accidents. Okay, now number three, proper, property damage. What is property damage? Property damage. Property damage? The machines often break down. Machines often break down. Uh -huh, exactly. That would be property damage. Uh, to be honest, I don't really call it like a property damage in the sense like there is, a, there, is, there is a difference between damage, property damage, and uh, wear down. 
because some machines were, were, I mean, get worn down. What's the meaning? That through use, uh, of course, they break down because you have to be using them constantly, constantly. And through use, they break down. That is completely normal. Okay, property damage is when intentionally people sabotage machines. If people sabotage machines or boycott different operations by ruining parts of the machine, causing accidents to other colleagues, that is property damage. So in the case of the machines often breaking down because they are constantly used, that is, to be honest, that is expected. And that is not uh, that is nothing to be so much concerned about in the sense as to say that that is property damage. I mean that is the logical result of using a machine, right? Okay. Now the next one: loss of customers. And we yesterday we said that it was. Another switch to another provider. provider. Bis or business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will be number four, right? Okay. Why do you think a customer switch to another provider? Probably because the other people are better organized or because they receive a better treatment, they are welcomed well, they are given better credit, they are, better, uh, they are given, uh, let's say, the merchandise on time and the merchandise in the proper order. I mean, exactly as they specified. So then they switch to the other provider, obviously. Okay, so over here, uh, the risk of losing customers is, uh, let's say, guaranteed open when we stop giving the quality that is expected from us workers, right? Because if we do not provide the quality that it is expected, obviously, uh, the customers will look for a provider who gives them what they, they deserve, not only what they need, but what they deserve, okay? So that would be the other one. What about number oh. five, financial? Oh, maybe teacher, when the company um, lost the reputation or the, maybe, related to the, the Poor ethical behavior uh, or when don't rea the reaction, the company is not good for the public. Exactly. Probably if, you, if they give a product that is unsatisfactory and uh, they do not take the responsibility uh, let's say maybe uh, substituting the defect, uh, the defective product for a functional product without charging anything extra or any other cost, then of course the people have the right to uh, consider the reputation of this company bad. Okay, so, and the problem is that if one company has a poor reputation, this spreads, people comment it, they say to a friend, imagine one person has the problem and this person tells five other, six other, seven other people and the reputation <laughs> plummets. So that is another problem, uh -huh. that's true. Okay, then finan financial laws, financial laws, that is, the company loses money. The, the company loses money. Why does the company lose money? The company loses money because customers switch to another provider. They stop buying, right? 
Okay, so if they have a lower demand, they have, uh, I mean, lower sales, so they lose money, okay? Uh, what happens when the merchandise stays in the warehouse for too long because nobody wants to buy it? The price of that, uh, let's say, of those uh, products lowers because they are, not new, they are not new anymore. If they were produced last year and they are sold this year, they are sold at a lower price, okay? So that is bad. What about the next one? Business interruption. The production stops. The production stops, right? Yes. I have written two threes, right? <laughs> I have written two threes. Okay. So say, teacher, you have put two threes. The company loses money is uh, number four five and I put three <laughs> emoji. I am tired, but I cannot be so tired. Okay, so, okay. I wasn't dancing in the rain, but okay. <laughs> All right, excellent. So let's check, out, let's check the vocabulary. Contamination, casualties, property damage, loss of customers, financial loss. Notice that loss is with two S's. Lose is L-O-S-E, lose. Third person loses. Ah, teacher, like loses Campero, right? Exactly, like loses Campero, loses, okay? The company loses money, okay? So loss of customers financial loss, business interruption. Okay, and over here on this side, machine often, machines often break down. The company loses money. Customer switch to another provider or to another business. In, an employee dies in an accident operating a machine. The production stops. Waste residues that are handled improperly scatter to other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. Okay, so this is some of the hazards and risks and their definitions. Do you have any questions about these things? Any vocabulary or pronunciation that you think, teacher, I'm sorry, I... I don't think that I can pronounce that properly or I don't understand how to pronounce it or I don't understand the meaning. Or for the moment, everything is as clear as Orchata. Yes. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Yes, right. Okay, nice. Well, let's continue then my dear ones. Let's continue. Okay, also another exercise that yesterday, we didn't kind of do it well because of time, but we didn't do it yesterday because we didn't have time is this one. Rank these risks from most serious to least serious. Which is the most serious in your opinion? Let's read them first. Financial loss, losing money. Loss of trust in the organization means not inside the organization, but outside. I mean, the trust of the public, the people stop trusting the organization. They believe that the organization doesn't comply with the vision and the mission that they have and that they don't deliver products of quality. So they stop believing in the company. So that is uh, number two. Loss of customers, people start leaving, okay? They start leaving, they go to other uh, companies and then they don't buy from this organization, okay? Business interruption, okay? And they stop working. Probably production stops because 
either they don't have a demand, means people don't want their products. So nobody's buying the products and they have a lot in stock that hasn't been uh, collocated in the market. If there is no mar I mean, placing in the market, if the products are not being sold, then they don't produce anymore. So the production stops. That, this can be one reason. What is another one? Property damage, property damage, okay? Like uh, workers probably are not so happy with the company and they don't treat the machinery properly. And the machinery breaks down very often because workers don't treat the machines well, don't give it the proper maintenance, and they forget to oil the machines, to change the parts that are breaking down. So the general machine finally breaks down, okay? So which is the worst, do you think, in your opinion? Number five, no, sorry, sorry. Number four. Business interruption? Maybe. Number me. A half for you? Casualties. Yes, I agree with Karina, casualties. Casualties. When we talk about casualties, we're talking about people dying at work. What's more important than a life? No. Why do people lie? I mean, why do people die? Probably because uh, the safety measures at the company stink. What's the meaning? That they don't have good safety measures. And so people don't have the proper uh, protection. They don't protect their heads with helmets. They don't protect their with vests, maybe they are not conspicuous. Conspicuous means visible because they don't have a, a vest that uh, makes them, I mean, an orange vest, right? That makes them conspicuous to the people who are driving or operating the machines. So that can cause an accident too. So then probably, so casualties would be, absolutely would be number one. After people dying, what can be the most, the second most serious? Number three. Uh-huh. But what happens before number three? Number two. Anything. Uh -huh, number two, people stop believing in the organization and then they uh -huh. leave. So they leave and they, they don't produce anymore. So in that case, maybe number two. Number three. What could be number three? Don Ignacio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome on board, my friend. Welcome on board. Yeah, thank, thank teacher. What could be number three in your opinion? Okay. Number one, financial financial loss. Financial loss. Financial loss. A loss is a result of what? Lost customers. Lost customers. If if there is a loss of customers, means customers leave. The result is number one. So in that case, but maybe. Number three is stream. And of course, what's number four? What happens before you get financial loss? Maybe business interruption. If the business is not producing and the and uh, the customers leave because the customers leave, the company stops producing because people don't buy. And if they don't buy, then there is a financial loss. So in that case, number four would be what? Number four. 
And then what's num what's number five? Number five, property damage. Uh -huh, number one, yes. And what's number six, property damage. So that would be probably in this in this way we have the order. Okay, because one concatenates into the next one, right? One gives birth to the next situation. That's why we can put them in this order. Okay. So how can we uh, how can we solve this chain of events? What is the chain of events? The chain of events is loss of trust in the organization, and after loss of trust, loss of customers. Uh, which brings you to the business interruption and then the financial loss. So how can this be, how can this chain be broken? How can we keep the trust of the customers in the organization? producing quality products on time and what? Giving what is specified with high standard and quality, right? On time and with quality and at good prices. So then in that case, uh, we retain and then the other things can be avoided because there is a chain. Okay, okie dokie. Now, my dear ones, task. dialogue. Dialogue. Okay, this is a conversation between Raul and Mark. Let's read the conversation between Raul and Mark. And then we're going to practice it and you're going to discuss the questions. You're going to discuss these questions that are about the reading and uh, these other questions that are about the next topic, okay? Let's see, these are about the next, topic. let's see, here we have. <clears throat> have you ever created an evaluation root plan? No, I guess this is my first time. However, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. What do you think? Well, as you and I don't have any experience at all, it might get kind of tricky, you know. You've gotta do some reading and a lot of discussion. Yeah, let's get it. The sooner, the better. Sure, where do we start? Shall we start with the data collection? Okay. Let's go online to do some reading. Yeah, let's do it. Let's look at some infographics first. Sure. Okay, again, sure. you ever created an evacuation route plan? No, I guess this is my first time. However, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. What do you think? Well, as you and I don't have any experience at all, it might get kind of tricky now. We've got to do some reading and a lot of discussion. Yeah, let's get on with it. The sooner, the better. Sure. Where do we start? Shall we start with the data collection? Okay. Let's go online to do some reading. Yeah, let's do it. Let's look at some infographics first. Sure. Okay. Some created, created evacuate evacuation route evacuation route created created guess 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 first time first time however however a big deal it's gonna be a big deal what do you think what do you think have any experience at all, at all. Kind of tricky. It might get kind of tricky, you know. Some reading, a lot of discussion. 
some reading, a lot of discussion. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Means let's begin, let's start. The sooner, the better. The sooner, the better. Where do we start? Should we start with the data collection? Let's go online to do some reading. Let's do it. Let's look at some infographics first. Sure. Okay, let's go and practice the conversation and discuss the questions. Okay, let's, let's go to the same groups. So let's do it. Okay. We're going to be doing 12, 13 and 14. Okay. The um, Mark. Okay. Have you Perfect. ever created an evacuate route plan? No, I get this is my first time. However, I don't think it is going to be a big deal. What do you think? Well, as you, I don't know, I don't have any experience at all. It might, uh, might get kind of quickly, you, you know? We have got to the some reading and a lot of discussion. Yeah, let's get on, let's get on with it. The sooner, the better. Sure, where do you start? Where do we start? Shall we start with the data collection? Okay, let's go online to do some reading. Yeah, let's do it. Let's look at some experience of all. It might get time and of tricking to know. We have got to do some reading and a lot of discussion. Yeah, let's get on um, with it the sooner the, the better sure where do we start shall we start with the data collection okay let's go online to do some reading yeah let's do it let's look at some infographic first sure and now jose ignacio hey i am mark Mark and Carlita Raul. Okay. How do you ever create a evacuation route plan? No, I guess this is my first time. However, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. What do you think? Big deal. What do you think? Well, as you and I don't have any experience at all. It might get kind of tricky, you know. We got to do some reading and a lot of discussion. Yeah, let's get on with it. Uh, the sooner, the better. Sure. Where do we start? Shall we start with the data collection? Okay, let's go online to do the, some reading. Yeah, let's do it. Let's look at some infographic first. Sure. Okay. 
me, Raúl. Okay. <clears throat> Have you ever created an evacuation route plane? No, I guess this is my first time. However, I don't think I, it's going to be a big deal. What do you think? Well, as you and I don't have an, any experience at all, it might get kind of tricky, you know. We got to do some reading and a lot of discussion. Yeah, let's get on with it. The sooner the better. Sure. Where do we start? Shall we start with the data collection? Okay, let's go online to do some reading. Yeah, let's do it. Let's look up some infographics, uh, infographics first. Sure. Okay. okay. The next page. Okay, we just that question. Mm -hmm. okay. What are repetimos? Yes. Ayúdeme, hay unas palabras, repetimos. Yes. Este, Raúl, me. Ok. How do you ever create an evac evacuation rule plan? No, I guess this is my first time. However, I don't think it's going to be a big a big deal what do you think okay. well uh, you and i don't have an experience i die it cry if nay mean get it us tricking you no we will go to do some reading in a loud discussion yeah Let's get on with it. Take some, take better. Sure, where do we start? Uh, shall we start with the day collection? Okay, let's go only do, do some reading. Yeah, let's go doing. Let's. Uh, not exactly. <laughs> yes. We don't finish. Yeah, we are. But we have already yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We can we continue. Do Did we finish right now? <laughs> no, you can begin. You can uh, let's say pick it up where you stopped the last time and uh, get to the next yeah. question. Because after this ones, there are other questions that are not about. Okay, so you're, you're talking about. Ah, no, the one before this one. Okay. Yes. Once before this one's right. So if you finish yeah. for this one, finish this one, and with that, you finish this section. Okay. You are ahead of the others. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can take a coffee right now. Okay. <laughs> In That's another cool. words. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> The question is okay. Um, but in the practice, practice, more practice, or the question, question, question. What are Raúl Mar going to design? Evacuation uh, plan. 
Do they have any experiences? No, they don't have it. What are they going to get the information? Well, right? Do they have no? Don't have experience. No, they don't have experience. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why. Right. And what, where are they going to get information? No. Online. Online. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, number the number one is is maybe uh, start with. Do, do you this this Jose Ignacio? Start, start start with for me is the start with the data collection. Number. What question? Number one. Number one. Mm. Should, should we start with the data collection? The number one. Yes, but the, they, they need to create it. I have a question who plan. Mm -hmm. um, okay. No, for me, yeah. this is the... <clears throat> okay, ellos van a diseñar Mm -hmm. The general plan is the general plan is an evacuation route. Oh. But where are they going to begin to create that evacuation route? The collecting data. Collecting data, yeah. They need the information in order to create a route plan that is I mean suspended or sustained by information uh -huh. yeah and experience yes so that would be that would be the first what are they going to do first so from this first what is the first thing that they're going to do what are they going to look at look at the conversation inside the data collection what are they going to look at in online in the last one in the last what mark says reading here one before reading. the next line let's look at some infographics first okay. yes. how are they going to collect the data by looking at some infographics first then some reading and then some discussion yeah Mm -hmm. Okay, you finished the questions. Now let's go to the other questions. Other questions. They are, they are not about the, the, the dialogue. These questions are okay. not about the dialogue. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, the next. <laughs> Delete. Three characteristics of a fire escape plan. Rain. Mm, characteristic. I do say. Okay. And the second is discuss how often a fly drill 
will be will be necessary. Mm. I think every time. Every time? Always. Mm -hmm. Always. Always and three. Oh, simulacro. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always. Yes. Yeah. It's necessary. Every month. <laughs> every month. Every month. Yeah, I agree with Karina. Maria Emma, what do you think? Um, I think every month. Okay. Who should live? Who should live by drill? Who should live? Como dirigir el simulacro masivo. In a case of a company, maybe the manager. It depends on the manager. The boss. The boss. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the four is what time do you think will be considered optimal? Uh, like oh, Karina, Karina said first, call the, the fireman, fireman's. Fireman five five there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, action faster. Or number four, what do you think? At ten o'clock in the morning. Um. Noon. A trip. For for okay. the release a uh, fire drill. For the fire drill. Oh, uh, in the morning. <laughs> Think in the morning, like yes. a nine a.m. Mm, like yes. nine a.m. Yeah. Nine ten. From nine to ten. Right? Nine or ten. Okay. Mm. And the last one. Okay, the last one is discuss how the result of the drill will be reported. In a meeting, uh, by email, a summary, a summary of the events in a meeting or a summary of events by email, or is it gonna be um, uh, maybe what, a banner, or, a, or something printed on the bulletin board, how do you think it's going to be, the results are going to be reported? First in a meeting, and then you can use the bulletin board to, to put the, the relevant points. Send an, an email. I think it is, and, uh -huh. and the third, uh -huh, send an emails. Yeah, because uh, today we are using always the phone, always the computer. We may take it out over there. Maybe that is it. And they put the limitation or the review. Yeah, I agree mm -hmm. with you definitely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Danny fell asleep.
Dennis fell asleep, right? Too much light, Jose Carlos. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I imagine it. Too much light. Okay. <laughs> Let's see who is present, who is absent. Let's check. Okay. okay. And the semi chance. Excellent, teacher. Excellent. I think that I'm going to share because no Mickey here. and I need to be looking at the people while I'm calling wrong. So I think that I'm going to share the screen because it helps me better to see on the side and the next one we have. Oh yes. Okay, so Anaselmi is present. Excellent. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman Present, teacher. Present. Okay. Very good. Danny Anthony Siguenza Ventura. Eh, Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Okay. Danis fell asleep. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Okay. I saw Danis in the meeting. Okay. At the beginning. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Present teacher, twice again. Jose Norberto López. No, no. Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Beatriz Díaz. Present teacher. Nice. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent. María Emma Catalina de Rosales. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. No Marvin, okay. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Pedrín Gómez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Wonderful. René Osvaldo Bonilla. The Bonilla brothers didn't show up. Okay. Ricardo Alex Fuentes. Present teacher, present. Nice. Yadira Guadalupe Gómez Ríos. And Rudy Josué Flores. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Oh, so, ha ah, someone's there. Present teacher, I don't listen my name. Yeah, Carlitos, I said your name. Jose Carlos Romero. Jose. I don't listen. <laughs> okay. And you remember I was bothering you with the light. Yes, of course. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. You're present. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, wonderful. Um, something that I would like to say, my dear ones, don't be absent tomorrow. Tomorrow you're going to be the teacher on the next day, okay? Tomorrow is the Cuesta de Satisfacción, reminding you that who, who you are evaluating is me, okay? Only me. Uh, we're not talking about the manual, if you like the manual, if the manual was good, if the manual was bad. No, no, no. Or if we're not talking about any other thing, but you're analyzing, you are evaluating only the teacher. If the teacher brought you information that was pertinent to the topics that were discussed, if the teacher provided you with enough information for you to practice, if the teacher gave you clarification in case of necessity, if the teacher gave you support when you need it, that is all you're going to be evaluating. You're not going to be evaluating other things than that. Okay? So I, I ask you to consider that and think while you are at home. And tomorrow, 
together we're going to be uh, answering the encuesta, okay? Now, that is for one thing. The other one, I have uh, some people that uh, haven't completed uh, some homework and some other evaluations. For example, final exams. I have like three people, four people that haven't finished, haven't done the final exam. And even I have two people who haven't done the midterm. And uh, I don't remember like three or four people who haven't finished homework part four. I mean, talking about the, the four uh, elements of the homework. So they have it blank. Uh, to these people, I ask you, my dear ones, please uh, complete some of that or at least everything that you can tonight. Tomorrow, uh, I don't know if after, well, to, tomorrow after class, you can do some of the things, but I don't know if after tomorrow, they're going to give you time to do it. So please try to get uh, on time with that. I know that you're very intelligent, very smart. And of course, I know that you can, okay. Um, over here, I don't know why they have placed Monday the 20th in a number of minutes for number the tw Monday the 20th. To be honest, I don't know. Because as far as I know, we finish tomorrow, okay? That's what I know, that we finish tomorrow. Why do we have Monday the 20th? I have no idea, okay? I have no idea. We haven't missed any time, so I don't think that that is about us. But I don't know. I will see what they tell you. And of course, tomorrow we have the Encuesta de Satisfaction, okay? Let's see, let's continue, my dear ones. Let's continue. Okay, now that you finished, uh, let's go to the reading. You're going to be reading about some common uh, safety hazards. And after reading, you're going to be discussing uh, the questions, okay? The questions about that. Uh, this is related to some of the things that you already did too, okay? And then you have these questions, okay? And we're going to go to the task. But first, uh, these ones are the ones that you're going to be doing. So what do you have to do? Pages 16, 17, 18, and 19, okay? So those are the ones. Ah, 20 from 16, 20. But I'm going to read this part with you for you to check the vocabulary, okay? I'm going to read it to you and then you're going to practice reading it with your part. See how much we can do, okay? So read the following text with a partner. Below, six of the most common safety hazards in manufacturing, manufacturing settings. Number one, chemicals, okay? Chemical, same as characteristics. You write cha, but you pronounce it ke. Characteristics, the same here, chemicals, ke, chemicals. Dangerous chemicals can be anywhere from corrosive cleaning solutions to leaking battery acid. To reduce risk of exposure, all hazardous material in your facility should be clearly labeled, uh, clearly labeled. Safety instructions should be posted in the immediate vicinity, should include precautions, procedures for treating exposure and evacuation plan. Employees should also be trained to recognize the signs and symptoms of chemical exposure so that they so that they or their coworkers can immediately receive her first aid. Number two, falls. When paired with uh, overconfidence, 
high places can be one of the biggest hazards in your workplace. In addition to helmets, fall protection equipment should be in place for ladders, cherry pickers, or any other piece of race equipment. Employees should be trained to work together and understand safety signals from those on the ground. Heavy machinery, carelessness when maneuvering a forklift or other factory vehicle can result in serious injury and even death. And not just for the operator, heavy equipment should be well guarded to limit access by untrained workers. Like those working in high places, the workers permitted to use the equipment must avoid the pitfalls of being overly confident. For example, they should know to constantly be on the lookout for employees. Employees outside of the machinery must know to get and hold eye contact with an operator, anticipate the vehicle's movements, and alert the operator to an emergency. Like if you're going to cross, you're going to pass in front of the machinery, make sure that the operator can see you so that he doesn't move the machine before you. Four, five. Engines, at the moment, let me see, I'm going to close all the microphones for the moment, okay? So, fire. Engines that run your machinery, welding equipment that is used on a daily basis, and the electrical wires that keep the lights on can each pose a significant risk for a manufacturing facility. To minimize risk, fire extinguishers should be visible and well marked. They should also be regularly inspected. Smoke detectors should be placed throughout your facility, as well as emergency phone numbers and emergency instructions for employees. Five and six. Number five, confined spaces. A confined space can include any space in which oxygen can quickly uh, deplete, a vat or tank, for example because symptoms of suffocation can come on suddenly and limit a person's ability to communicate. The best defense against this hazard is education. Employees should know what qualities or what qualifies as a confined space. When working in one, they should work in pairs with one employee removed from the danger who can act if needed. And in some cases, your facility should be equipped with confined space rescue equipment, such as a harness or face mask. Number six, non-employee, non-employees. One of the most dangerous elements in the workplace can be the people who shouldn't be there in the first place. Work areas should be forbidden to all people who do not have proper training and equipment including employees who work elsewhere in the facility. Limit access to your facility and post clear warnings to outsiders so outsiders know to keep away. Enforce rules. Make no exception for friends, family members, or anyone else who is not on site to perform a specific task. Okay, so these are, this is the reading. Okay, now we're going, you're going to be practicing reading and you're going to be discussing the questions. Six pages, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, all right? So let's go to the, to practice. I'm going to make just a couple of questions, I mean changes, because we need to level up a couple of groups, okay?
Danis, are you going to enter your group? Number sixteen, page. Yes. Okay. Really follow this with a partner. Okay. This uh, uh, number one and number two. Yeah. Ignacio. Hey. <clears throat> I I read the number one, the chemical. Okay, and you Ricardo read the number two. Four. Okay, five. Yeah, okay, okay. Chemicals. Dangerous chemicals can be anywhere from corrosive cleaning solution to leaking battery acid to reduce risk of exposure, all hazardous material in your facility, facility should be clearly leveled. Safety instruction should be posted in the immediate vicinity and should include precaution and procedure for treating exposure and evacuation plan. Employees should also be trained to recognize the signs and symptoms of chemical exposure so that they or their co-workers can immediately receive the proper first aid. Okay, fine. When parents which overconfident, each plaster can be one of the biggest hazards in your work life. A fly or the other? Uh. Continue to Anita. Mm, the, the three number. Uh, yes. Me number three. Okay, Anna. Okay. The heavy machinery. Carelessness when maneuvering a forklift or other factory vehicle can result in serious injury and even death. And not just on the operator. All heavy equipment should be well guarded, guarded to limit access by untrained workers and like those working in high play. The worker permitted to use the equipment must avoid the pitfalls and be overly confident. For example, they should know to constantly be on the lookout of employees. Employees outside of the machinery must know to get and hold a contact with an operator, anticipate the vehicle, movement and alert the operator. For example, because, because symptom, symptom of, of 
so forgetting can can come on so suddenly so then and limit a person's ability to communicate the best defense again this hazard is education employed should not what qualifies qualif as a confident space when working in one they should work in part with one employee removed from the danger who can act active need neither and in some case your facility should be equipped with confidence space rescue equipment so as a harness or fast 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 mask fast mask face mask okay no employees one of the most dangerous elements in the workplace can be the people who, should, who shouldn't be there in the first place. Work, work areas should be forbidden to all people who do not have proper training and equipment, including areas. Um, uh, falls. Well, yes, maybe a swimming pool, right? Well, to me, because, uh -huh. uh -huh. um, well, we know that, uh, um, uh, if you use or manipulate a uh, chemical uh, substances. Maybe yes. you don't have the, the precaution and the the know the, if you don't know about how to to manipulate. Uh, maybe it's a uh, to me can be a uh, uh, well a uh, serious accident. Yes. Uh, which could happen uh, at your work, at your job. Which could. Fire. Mm. Otra, otra di. Otra. <laughs> yeah. Ah, que eh, trabalengua está. Pero me quedo. ¿Qué es la canción de rapero? <laughs> ¿Ah? Como que es canción de rapero. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Quizá... ¿Cómo se dice aquí, Ignacio? Chemicals. Chemicals, ok. The girl, chemical, can be a nightwear. Dangerous, or, dangerous or... chemical. Ay, teacher, aquí sí que... Dangerous. No está claro como la chata. Dangerous chemical. <laughs> Bar, Por dangerous chata. chemical. Chemicals. Nah, aquí estamos, estamos mal, chocolate y esta cosa. Yes, dangerous. For, for, se... Ok. Ah, chemical. Danger, chemical, can be anywhere. For, for, se can. Solution to lacking battery. Acid. Acid. To reduce the risk of exposure al hazard material in your facility, for the clean 
living separate instruction should be post posted in the immediately. This night, this night, I should include precaution. Proceed, procedures for taking um an evaluation plan. Employees should also be training to recognize the thing and recognizing some <laughs> something of chemical exposure to that they are or they co worker can, can immediately receive the proper field aid. Next. Okay, uh, me, the number two, false. When paid, false, sorry. When paid, uh, don't move, please. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, false. <laughs> For, false. When paired, when paired with overconfidence, high placed can be one of the biggest hazard in your workplace. In addition to helmet, fall protection equipment should be in place for ladders, cherry pickers, or any other piece or or raised equipment. Employees should be trained to work together and understand separate signal from tools on the ground. Okay. Number three. Yeah, but move a little. Different type of warren for a uh, batteries. Yeah. But not, not dangerous, high dangerous, middle dangerous, I think. Yeah. But no, don't have, it's possible uh, a fire because if is we flammable. don't, Material. yes, yes, yes. Yes, because we have a uh, inflammable, como dijimos que? Flammable. A flammable, yes, flammable oh. materials, yes. Well, you write the pronunciation, teacher. <laughs> flammable. A flammable. <laughs> flammable. Okay. Flammable. 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 In your case, Ana Delmi. Hi, Ana Delmi. In my case, it's possible the fall because the floor is, did you say, for the kind of the, the floor, it's possible okay. the accident falls in the the company yeah okay okay the, the, the risk is is medium or low risk yes between okay. low and medium yeah okay medium risk next and the other question uh, 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 how can we we how can we prevent them from ruining our business? Business. Business. The best prevention is uh, come with a with a plan for for um uh, prevention for prevention. Yes, prevention plan. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I agree with you. Yes. Answer. Yeah. And the other 
Uh, is there an emergency plan at your workplace? In your case, in your case, yes, Carlita. Yes, in my case, yes, we can we can a uh, prevention plan because uh, the company have a risk department. Or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, in my case. Uh, yeah, there is an emergency plan okay. in my office. Okay. Yeah, excellent but protocol, 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 protocol. Yes, protocol. Yeah. Have you been informed about what to do in the case of fire or an earthquake? Yes, in my in my case, we have a tool where I where 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 we report our events. Okay. Okay. A form, Carlita. To what? A form. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And once, once. In your job. That's all. Okay, that's it. Just some time. To finish this. Almost the chair. Uh, yeah, we finished the fight. The fight. That's all. That's a round. <laughs> The five rounds. <laughs> okay. the first, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, we almost finished. We need to discuss that question. Fantastic, mm -hmm. excellent. Okay, okay, Rudy, can you read the part? Okay. Is there an emergency plan at your workplace? Yes, in my case, yes. Just for a earthquake. Mm -hmm. or, or five yeah we have that okay uh, emma is there an emergency plan at your workplace mm. no no okay no okay have you been informed that about what to do in the case of fire or an earthquake? In the earthquake, yes. In fire, okay. Okay. go out. <laughs> <laughs> go on away. Go on away. Save your life. <laughs> yeah, in my case, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in your case, Maria? Ah, oh, okay. That's True. <laughs> no, the second, no. Do they display a sketch following the route? Karina? Um, and display or oh, sketch following the route? Uh -huh. We have uh, the, the two mentions, the, like a croquis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, we have. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I have. I have this sketch. Okay. Uh, Karina, it is easy to understand it? Yeah, it's easy. And the, the first eyes is. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. How many people need to be if a quick? in your job okay um my area just are five people ah, okay but in all the company all the office uh -huh. meetings oh mm. big. okay in my yeah. case is like mm, 50 to 60 
people. But on my responsibility, there are 10. Just 10. Okay. Maria? Maria? Uh, if if it were a people. Uh -huh, okay. 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 Uh, how long do you think it will be, it will take? Okay, according to the area, I mm -hmm. I am in the next to the door. <laughs> in ah, my, okay. my area, uh, we are the first. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> yeah. But I think the others, well, the, the, the building has just two floors. Ah, okay. Exactly. And probably uh -huh. 10 minutes. Minutes. Okay. 10 minutes. In our case, we spend four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes, yes. In your case? Um, I, uh, I think uh, 10 minutes, maybe. 10 minutes? Okay. Uh, have you ever performed a drill? Drill is... It's fire, alarm. Ah, uh, No. No, I have no. In my case, in my case, no. Okay, in my case, yes. Okay, tell us about your experience. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, in the uh, school, how did it go? <laughs> <laughs> in, in, my, in, in our school, or. Hello, teacher. Well, we're finished. You finished, Niñita. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. You. So you answer the two sets of questions. The questions in uh, the questions on twenty. Yes, in twenty. Uh, uh, the last question, right? About is there an emergency lab in your workspace? Yes. Ah, uh -huh. excellent. Okay. Well, yes, you finished. In a moment, we're going to go to the main group. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Hey, good job. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Give your opinion. The. When when we to read that uh, sentences, we try read uh, for example that comma from that point continue no word word is word for for the for the we need. Uh, understand the we 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 sorry um para le, Spanish, para, Spanish. para entender para entender lo que queremos leer no hay que ir palabra por palabra porque ni ni así quedamos pues, eh, de coma a punto de coma a coma para tratar de leer eh, abierta la, la oración, expresión la oración, la abierta oración. la oración porque si vamos palabra por palabra a ver qué le pescamos eh. No, no sale. Eh, hay que tratar de leer de forma prácticamente sí, eh, abierta. La... Si, si se enreda la lengua, que se enrede. Así. Vale, por ejemplo, mira, eh, el número, número dos va, for. Aquí tengo la primer coma. O sea, voy a leer, when paid with overconfidence. Y ahí me detengo, o hago una ahí pequeña aire, pausa. Ahí tomas aire, ahí tomas aire. No, eh, obliga, la coma obliga, pero yo yes. voy. When yeah, paid exactly. with Overconfidence. Um, ya vas casado. No, no es así. Pienso, ahora esta que viene está difícil perder. Uh, viene que uh, hasta el siguiente punto. 
High place okay. can be one of the biggest hazards in your workplace. Otro. Cold cake. How long do you think it could take? Mm, similar, correct. The evacuation really? The evacuation of people in your... Yep. Evacuation. Oh, how long? And once, once a year, only that in the simulacre. Uh -huh. In the and case, the, the evacuation, the old office, uh, maybe for a fire or earthquake, how long? Okay. How, uh, how long? Do you think it could take the evacuation in this case? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have the reading. It says, read the following excerpt from a fire escape plan. Okay, it says, practice escaping from every room in a building. Practice escape, uh, escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent uh, roof. Also practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route, but if you must escape, through smoke, remember to crawl low. I mean, to be close to the ground, right? Under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains to toxic gases, which can disorient you or worse, or at worst, overcome you. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door, the door knob, and the crack between the door and door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. If it feels hot, use your secondary escape route. Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the building, for example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or in front or front sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first. 
then notify the fire department. Never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters. They are equipped to perform rescues self safely. Finally, having working smoke alarms installed on every level of the building dramatically increases your chances of survival. Smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and changed with new ones at least once a year. This text was adapted from plantcitygov.com. Okay, so you're going to practice, well, we don't have time to practice reading it, but the intention was that you were going to be reading. It. What we're going to be doing is answering these questions. You will help me. Underline the best recommendation in each group about what to do in the event of a fire. Two of them are not right. From the three, you choose one. When fire occurs, get all the things of value. Leave the Try to put out the fire. Which is the correct one? Leave the place. Leave the place. Leave the place, absolutely. Sure. Leave the place. When you come to a closed door, grab the handle and open it. Look for another door. Carefully feel the doorknob and the cracks of the door for hotness. The last one, carefully feel the door known and cracks of the door for hotness. Yeah, that's correct. Perfect, this is the correct answer. Okay, wow, Chirifa. Wow. I, the line is not so crooked. <laughs> right. Okay. Number three, designate a meeting place as near the building as possible, away from the building or at home. What away, you away. Away from the building. Away from the building. Away from the building, but not at home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, four, before trying to escape, escape first without hesitation. Notify the fire department first. Call your family and tell them not to worry. Which is the correct one? Notify the fire department. No, my dear. First. Escape first. Okay. Oh. Get out first. Later, outside your uh -huh. fire. Before, before, before. Uh -huh. Okay, fire. The last one. Fire alarms. Test them every year. <laughs> Install them on the top and ground levels. Change them every five years. What do you think? Fire alarms. Test them every year, install them on the top of ground levels, change them every five years. Test them every year, teacher. Install them on the top and ground mm. levels. Mm. Actually, there should be a, a fire alarms everywhere. And uh, test them every month. Maybe you remember the reading? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the reading, I'm sleeping. Don't worry. Okay. It says here, like, um, finally, having working smoke alarm installs on every level, installed on every level of the building, dramatically increasing your chance, etc. Smoke alarm batteries okay. need to be tested every month. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> so, okay, my dear ones, let's go and see who is present. Okay. Let's see. Oh, tonight, Carlita stays with me tonight, okay? Car Carlita, okay. Ana Selmi Chévez. Okay, yes. present teacher. Nice, Ana Delmi Guzman. Presente, present. Excellent. Dani Anthony Siguenza Ventura. Okay, Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Okay, Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. Okay, 
Guadalupe del Carmen López. Lupita. No. Ok. José Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Excelente. José okay. Franco. Present teacher. José Norberto Velázquez. Ok. Karina Beatriz Díaz. Present teacher. Nice. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent. Very nice. Carla Verónica Vázquez Rivas. Present. Excellent. Eh, María Emma Catalina de Rosales. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Okay. Miriam Clari Claribel Jacobo. Okay. Pedrina Ileana Gómez. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Nice, señor. Very good. Okay. Osvaldo Bonilla. Okay, sorry. Son Okay. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Yanira Guadalupe Gómez. Rudy, Josué. Present teacher. Excellent. That's nice. Okay. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So let me stop sharing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me tonight. I will be seeing you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do the Encuesta de Satisfacción. So have your links opened tomorrow in all the documents that they sent you to your email, okay? So that we answer that together. We're going to be doing that exactly at 9.30, 9.30 p.m. tomorrow, okay? So thank you very much for joining me tonight. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Okay. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Take care. See you. Okay, Carlita. How can I, I how can I help you? How can I help you? What questions, okay. what questions do you have? Okay, teacher, hey, how, can, how can I do to improve my pronunciation and not feel that my tongue blocking when I want to say something? Oh, oh, I think that I need to uh, now more work for connection for have a conversation. Okay. Um, I can tell you like this. Number one, when, when speaking, do not worry because many times people feel kind of nervous because they worry about other people's opinions. They think yeah. oh, the other, other people are listening to me and uh, they'll be judging my pronunciation and they will find it lacking or something. No, no. First, believe in yourself. Trust yourself that you will pronounce things well, number one. Number two, relax your jaw. <laughs> relax it. Because sometimes uh, people, you know, uh, make it kind of hard and it's difficult to, for, for them to move. So if, uh, for example, your mouth is, uh, I mean, your jaw is too tight, you cannot speak correctly because of course you are worried and you are nervous. Another thing, uh, drink water. Sometimes people have their mouth wet, I mean dry, too dry, 
and uh, you cannot pronounce correctly if your mouth is not uh, wet, okay? So that is talking about physical things. So another thing, practice. Practice in front of the mirror, okay? Uh, some people may say, hey, the teacher is crazy, right? He's in front of the mirror talking to himself. No, for example, think about this. Think about a topic, any topic that you want. Imagine that you're talking about a party and then you pretend that you're okay. talking to a friend and that the friend answers. You say, hey, friend, let's go to a party next Saturday. And the friend will say, mm, okay, sure, what time? And then you say, well, how about uh, 3.45 p.m.? There's going to be a piñata. We're going to have some horchata, suspiros, and of course, cake. And they're going to be delicious sandwiches. And then, of course, okay. you can practice okay. conversation. Okay. Uh, for so for know, example, in this in this last three weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, for me, uh, I enjoy your class because your class is very practice, uh, reading very much, many conversation. I like the conversation and the reading because now I. I, I understand more, more reading. When, when reading, uh, my, my comprehension is more easy for me because uh, the last three weeks, reading, reading every day, uh, uh, for me is, is very uh, necessary. Uh, very, very necessary to read every day. Sure, I agree with you. Actually, yeah. I try to investigate, read. Uh, probably, I I place in the in the class maybe a reading that is what two pages over there or three pages. But for that, I have read 10, 12 pages or more, and I have summarize that to make it uh, less dense and easier to read. Um, why? I'm a teacher and it's my responsibility, right? Yeah. So the other thing is because maybe you know uh, that I have only one page from the manual to get the two hours of class. So what's the meaning of that? That probably is only a dialogue in the, in the conversations about the dialogue. What's the meaning? That I have to investigate to fill the, the rest of the time. Because if um, I don't prepare, okay. forget it. Imagine that only the teacher speaks, 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 and you never get a chance to talk. You don't get practice, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. But your class was very nice because all moment was practice uh, work in short group. Uh -huh. And for me, for me was a good was a good work that you share with you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you, teacher. It is more. I am uh, was confused because I think that the Finnish uh, class was the last week. Uh -huh. For this reason, my homework was finished the, the last uh, week. Uh, Carlita, congratulations. Probably, <laughs> probably only, let me see, like about three people, okay? okay. Three people finished the, their homework and the exams last week. But you, yes. you you were the first to finish. Congratulations. I that, thank you. That is one of the things that I consider important because people pay attention. And in the next class, they will include you, right? Mm -hmm. Because they see are, how can I say, responsible in that they like to uh, comply with everything that is expected from them. That is really mm -hmm. possible. 
song. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. I glad you I like your class. I enjoy a very night because uh, you have a methodology is very cool. I like your explain about different topic uh, you share with you. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that you like it. Okay, another thing that you can do for practicing your vocabulary and your pronunciation. What kind of music do you like? Uh, I, I like music, um, romantic music in English. Uh -huh. uh, I like different, different um, kind of music. Um, Sometimes I hear music and I sing in English. Huh? But my, for practice. Yes, my recommendation is that you enter YouTube, right? Look for your favorite song and look for it with lyrics. So you listen and you are reading the lyrics, right? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Read yes, it. I have I, my, my problem is that I have short free times because. I have to, to work. I have a full work in a part of world work. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very complicated, but I try to practice. How uh, about, do you, do you work on Sundays? Yes, Sunday and, and Saturday and Sunday. Oh, wow, yes, you are very busy. And Monday, Monday, to, Monday to Friday, I work at Ericsson. Uh -huh. And weekend, I work at... Another place. Yes, and we have um, own business. Okay. And I, I need to work every weekend. Uh -huh. Okay, but if you have, you know, three, four minutes, five minutes, yeah, and then yes. and relax, you can think, think about a song that you like. Everybody has a telephone. So you get your song in, on YouTube, check it, yeah. the lyrics, even if the people say, ah, it's crazy, nah, you listen and <laughs> sing the song as you are reading, okay? You can check the pronunciation. You practice the pronunciation. Your fluency improves and your understanding improves, okay? Okay, thank you for your recommendation. Another thing, and this is the last one that probably so that you can go and uh, relax is that you can also watch on YouTube uh, stories. You can type reading English through stories. And there are some like books that they that uh, person reading, and you can follow the reading of the person, right? And you can okay. check words are pronounced. They turn the page and they continue reading, and you can follow the story and see how much of the story you understand and how much vocabulary you learn. It's another way. Uh, to okay. You can. Okay, I take your recommendation because it's very interesting. There are many options for better my pronunciation and vocabulary. Uh -huh. And the last one is uh, CNN. CNN in uh, English. Watch the news, okay. watch CNN in English. And you will see uh, the television has closed captures. Okay. Uh, Absolutely. I have a problem with that television or movie because I don't understand T-shirt. Yes, but you can activate <laughs> the closed captions, right? Activate them and then you can do that. So that is another idea. Yeah, okay. Yes, is when I put uh, movies or other kind of, of problem in the television, I, for me it's very frustrating, no sé what is. Frustrating, frustrating. Frustrating because I don't understand. Okay, like I said, little by little, little by little. Okay. Because sometimes the vocabulary, you don't know the vocabulary. 
So mm -hmm. maybe you it correctly, but you don't know the vocabulary. And that's why probably you don't understand. No, it is it, it, too that when I hear um, talk in English are uh, some uh, people, Lati Latinos, uh -huh. I understand. When I saw native yeah. English, I don't understand. Because they speak too fast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Okay, but yeah. things and then that will help. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Then take care of yourselves. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day, so be prepared. Okay, God bless you. Take care of yourself. Sleep well. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Take care, Carlita. Be okay, good. thank you. Sure. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay, take care. Yes, take care.